opportunity to start looking at what's new. Some of the interesting things, we've got some examples here of some layups, some um, left and right hand layups, just from different angles, but uh, perhaps talk us through it, Bill. Yeah, Tim, as you notice here, we've referred to the first step when they take control of the ball as being zero, and then the, uh, the next movement is the next step, which is step one and step two. So in principle, um, the rule is pretty much the same in terms of you're allowed um, two steps. However, the difference is when you take control of the ball, when one foot is on the ground, that foot is regarded as being zero. The next movement would be the first step and the second step is the, the following step from there. So Bill, if we just look at the next example here, and we'll watch it uh, in normal motion first, but perhaps just take us through frame by frame of how that works. Okay, so the first step, our right foot is zero, second step is the left foot is one, and the right foot again is the second step. As we look at the next example, Bill, and we'll obviously replay this twice, but uh, it's really important for the referees to identify when the ball comes to rest. And this is where the contentious issue will be. Here we would say that she gave control of the ball with her left foot on the floor. She then steps with her right, which is one. She then steps with her left, which is two. And she steps with her right again, which makes it three. And that would make it illegal.